Hi, Valerie. Hey, I just wanted to do a short little video and share with you about, um, I was going kind of going through uh, your previous emails about the Math 107 course, and you had mentioned uh, the need to do Venn diagrams, <clears throat> but you didn't want to get kind of caught up in the, in the technology or something that was kind of clunky. And so I wasn't sure if you were familiar with um, Google Drawing. It's part of the Google Docs suite. Um, so all you need is a, is a Google Docs account, um, but it's really easy to create uh, Venn diagrams, and I'll show you really quickly. Um, here's an empty Google Docs, uh, Google Drawing, uh, drawing. <laughs> and uh, I just have to click a shape, and there's lots of different shapes that you can use uh, for more than just Venn diagrams, but we'll want to use a circle here. And um, just draw out the circle, and then uh, and I can change the color, so if I, wanted, if I wanted it to be maybe a darker blue, I could do that. Then I'll just grab another shape, another circle, and, uh, and I can move it around. So I just want to kind of get the size right, so I can move it up a little bit here. And, um, and then I can change the color on this one, too. And I can make it, say, um, let's make it a green color. And then all you have to do is kind of adjust the transparency so you get that kind of uh, middle layer going. And to do that, um, you just simply click on the fill color, click on custom, and then you have an option here for transparency. And I can just drag that down so that it's fairly transparent. I can even do the same for here if I want to. Uh, click on custom, drag my transparency down. So now I've got this kind of mixture layer. And then I can just start adding my text. I just grab the text box tool and drag that out, and I can, oh, put my caps lock on, grab my text box here, <clears throat> and then grab another text box for the middle. Of course, I had to use geeky references for this video. Um, so anyway, that's just a real simple example of a Venn diagram. But the other cool thing then about it being a Google Doc is that um, I can easily share this. I can email collaborators. So if I wanted to um, work on this Venn diagram with another student in the class, I can email them and, and share it out or click on the share option here. Oh, it wants me to save it. So I'll just save Venn diagram. <clears throat> hit save and now I can share this um, with anybody I want just add email addresses in here or I can just simply make it um, you know make it a completely public on the web link with anybody or anybody with a link that can edit it um, and then make it easy to share out uh, with folks so that we can work on the document uh, together on the drawing together as a group so anyway just wanted to uh, do this real quick video just to kind of show you how that works and hopefully it will help for your class all right thanks